Good day, guys. Welcome to This Is Life's Kitchen again. Today, I'll be showing you how to make chicken stew. I use this pot to fry the chicken. That's why the one that is a little bit dark. Chicken has enough oil, so we won't be adding much oil. We're just going to let the oil heat up for some few minutes. Then, we're going to add our chopped onions. Only after I chop the onions, I'm going to allow it to add some aroma to the oil. So after the frying of the onions, we're just going to add our thin tomatoes. For thin tomatoes, I like using ginger. It's much. The concentration is not as high as others. So it's concentration. So we're just going to fry this one. Why I normally fry my tomatoes first is because this has slabs more than the tomatoes, more than the fresh tomatoes, and already steamed the fresh tomatoes yesterday. So then it's not as salty as this. So I'm just going to fry this one a bit first. So I'm going to fry this till it changes its color. So it's going to look darker than it was before. What we we'll do now is we add our blended fresh pepper tomatoes and onion we already dried the water just steam it so the water will be dry then we'll fry this for about 10 to 15 minutes so in the process of still frying it it's not yet I prefer frying mine so that the whole test will just leave like as you can see already the water is totally dried up but keep frying the the more you fry the tomatoes the more tasty your stew will be so for some of my spices I like using onga onga is one of the best fly onga the color onga gives is just nice and the aroma so I'll be applying some of this is my mixed spices. It has a combination of so many aromatic seasonings that I don't even know what they are. <laughs> Just a bit. Because you need to go back and watch how I made my chicken stock. Because if you didn't watch it, my day you're missing. Just go back and watch. I'll add a little bit of my thyme, my garlic. Just a bit. Because I don't... I already did, added some for boiling. Of the chicken stuff. So I have a bit of my ginger. I'm just going to add one seasoning cube because I already used one in boiling the. For my seasoning cube, I like using no chicken cube. I'm just going to be using one. And for more aroma, I like using thyme. Just a bit. If you still have your bay leaf. I could not get rich of bay leaf. You can add your bay leaf. <coughs> it is very medicinal and adds a lot of aroma to your meal. <laughs> We're just going to fry it and add some salt. We're going to add some salt. Don't mind me, I like using sachets. Then we'll fry again till it's totally dried. <laughs> So this is how it looks like now after enough frying. Very nice. See, it will get darker. So I'm going to add my chicken stock, and it has a lot of oil. You can choose to add water, but this is the quantity of water that will just be enough for me. So it just allows steam. That's all. I'm going to show you the aftermath when it steams up. So this is how it looks. You know it is ready when the oil comes on top. See it? When the oil comes on top. Look at this tuna. My god, the aroma is eh? very nice and lovely. So I hope you liked my method. I want you to try it out. Please like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Are very very good. Thank you.